Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here this morning at the Tennessee River Park. You might be able to see a sign up there. This is the Curtin Pole Road Pond area of the Tennessee River Park. It's probably my favorite area of the Tennessee River Park to do photography. It's winter. It's December, I think, December 3rd today. And this is kind of the time of year when a lot of uh, ducks will arrive at this pond. Not a lot, but some interesting species. And I, I come here to try to see the, the hooded merganser, which is a beautiful, beautiful duck. And I can't get the light quite right on me. There we go. I come here to, to see hooded mergansers, and I don't see any of those here this morning. But as I look around the pond, I've, I've been able to see uh, there's a pair of northern shovelers, which are absolutely beautiful. There's some gadwalls. There's uh, not very many, but there's some mallards out here. And uh, then after, after working on those for a little while, I, there's a really, it's not a full moon, but it's nearly full moon up there. And I've got a big camera rig, so I went ahead and took a picture of that. And, uh, and then after some time passed, I found a ringneck duck. And now I think my buddy's coming to say hi. Nope, he's just going right on by. But uh, yeah, so definitely seen some, some interesting wildlife here this morning and I'm gonna to continue to shoot for a while, but why don't we go ahead and look at some pictures. Okay, so today when I was shooting, I shot manual aperture, always wide open, which with a F4 lens and a 1.4 teleconverter wide open is at 5.6. And I used automatic ISO and I, in order to preserve the white breast on the northern shovelers, I shot at one third of a stop minus on the EV. I did spot metering, so it metered off of wherever the focus point was. And I adjusted my shutter speed so that I tried to keep my ISO below a thousand. So if my ISO started to creep up, I would ease my shutter speed down. And if my ISO started to creep down because the light got brighter, I would spin my shutter speed up. And all of the photographs are at 5.6, like I mentioned, and they're all at 700 millimeters. 500 times 1.4 is 700. So the way I displayed the photos in today's video, I only have the ISO and the shutter speed because everything else is 700 and 5.6. So there he is, a male northern shoveler looking beautiful at the Curtin Pole Road Pond. And they look similar to, but nowhere near exactly. This is a mallard male, a mallard drake. Uh, similar colors to the northern shoveler, but definitely not the same. And, you know, while the beautiful moon was up in the sky, I had to point the big camera at it and make a shot. I thought it turned out pretty good. And then I discovered this ringneck duck. Now these are very, very small, and I was happy to see this one. And there it is looking right at us. These ringneck ducks are uh, smaller and there was only one male and no females. Here is the ringneck duck again. I love the colors of it, especially that bright yellow eye. And this is a gadwall. That's a male gadwall duck that you can see there at the Curtin Pole Road Pond. And here's our little buddy, the ringneck duck, swimming towards us again. And I have video clips of this guy later in the video. And here again is the northern shoveler male. And look how cold it was. You can see the frost on all the wood there in the pond. Look at the beautiful colors as well of the light reflecting on the ripples in the pond. The light there at Curtin Pole Road in the mornings is to your back. And you can see reflections of the bright light as it hits the back side of the pond while the front side of the pond is in shade. And I just love the beautiful male northern shoveler. Here is the beautiful ringneck duck. Look at the way the big lens compresses the reflections in the water and makes them look like some sort of amazing piece of art as our beautiful male ringneck duck swims around the Curtin Pole Road Pond. And now we're back once again looking at the northern shoveler. Both of those are ducks that I'm really thrilled to see. I probably see the ringneck more often. Now here's the male and the female northern shoveler. You can see their giant bill, which is how you can tell that that's what they are on a female. The male, the color pattern uh, clues you in. This one had a really good reflection. A lot of times the ripples in the water 
made the reflection not look too good, but this one was particularly good, and this one as well. And this is one of my favorites because of all the frost on the logs in this photo. Here's another one with the beautiful ringneck duck swimming right at you. You can see both of its eyes and both of its eyes in the reflection. And there's the shoveler. This one really kept captured the reflections well of something green growing on the back side of the pond. And this is the last photo. This is a pair, a male in the center and a female to the right of gadwall ducks. Oh man, it is cold out here this morning. The car tells me it's 35 degrees Fahrenheit. I've come back to the car to warm up. Uh, I was starting to get kind of a little bit of pain in my extremities. So I've come back to the car to warm up. The car says it's 35 degrees and uh, my phone converted that to Celsius for me and it says it's 1.7 degrees Celsius. So uh, time to warm up for a little bit. And that's one of the great things about the Curtin Pole Road Pond is the parking lot is about 30 yards from where the pond starts and also right over there is a restroom. So I'm going to enjoy a little bit of coffee and warm up for a while. I concentrated mostly on still photography today, but the Z50 is a capable video camera. So I decided to make a few video clips of the pond this morning and here they are. There's Mr. Northern Shoveler swimming along and now he's just kind of resting. And it looks like uh, he there in the center and Mrs. Northern Shoveler on the right are doing some preening there at the Curtain Pole Road Pond. And this is the Mallard Drake. I thought this was a beautiful shot. I think I have a still of this same shot in the video as well. And here is the hyperactive little ringneck male duck as it swims around in its really erratic patterns. It was difficult to follow with the video camera and, the, and, and for stills as well because it never tended to go the same direction. It would start off in one direction and immediately change. Here are Mr. and Mrs. Northern Shoveler again and they were much easier to follow except they stayed all the way at the far side of the pond while the ringneck, the much smaller ringneck, swam a little bit closer, maybe 75% of the way across. I decided to leave the Curtain Pole Road area and look around at some other spots and there was nothing going on at any of the other spots so I came on home. So we're going to call this the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you want to see some more like this, I do all sorts of photography on this channel. Subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.